Hello to this quick overview of VMware Cloud Direct availability for .5. Similarly to the previous release, we would like to focus your attention on vSphere DRN migration and the enhancements we made. First, we are introducing a new pairing mechanism through a reverse tunnel that no longer requires the on-premises site to have a public endpoint for a successful pairing to the cloud. Also, you can now specify the replication settings in advance instead of when starting the replication process. Additionally, you can choose a storage profile and not just the data store. We have improved the scalability at the cloud site by adding support for registering additional cloud replicator appliances and it is possible to protect encrypted VMs too. Another area of significant improvement is the recovery settings. They come in a new menu which offers more intuitive and handy way of configuring the network settings and extends the guest customization options of each replication. Now you can set all the available guest customization parameters available in VMware Cloud Director, including adding a script to be executed. Also, the backup and restore is now automated. You can define schedules for backup generation and specify an SFTP server where the encrypted archives will be uploaded. And this is not all. There are some features that simplify the provider's operations and improve their tenants' overall experience. You can now clone replication policies for easier management and prohibit the migrations from cloud to on-premises through them. Using the VMware Cloud Director advisories, cloud providers can now push notifications to their tenants that are visible in the VMware Cloud Director availability portal too. The system held view gets enriched and now contains information about the service and the plan's uptime. Also, there is a new view-only user role that can be used for several purposes without any risk of doing any harm to the system and to the configured replications. And last but not least, in addition to the already existing placement policy selection, now you can choose the VM sizing policy as well during the replication configuration. These are all the new features in VMware Cloud Direct Availability 4.5 in brief. Stay tuned with our blog where we will publish more detailed feature reviews and videos in the coming days. Thanks for watching.